Hi everyone, it's Jean from Inky Owl Studio. Welcome back. So happy that you could stop by for a few minutes. I am continuing with Dee Dee's challenge, 3 and 15, Don't Freak Out Before Christmas. And all the lovely ladies that are participating, and there's quite a few now, can be found on Dee Dee's page, and I've put the link down below. Uh, I am going to be filling uh, these pockets that I made uh, a few weeks ago, Edith Holden pockets. I'm going to be filling them with tags. And what I decided to use was this collage, this botanical collage that comes from Nature's Remedies, the uh, kit from uh, Tracy Fox and uh, um, Andrea at Artie Mays, kind of a combination. Uh, made this kit and this is uh, I think very it goes very well with Edith Holden I, I like how it goes there and I have pre-cut out the tabs that I'm going to be setting inside the pockets and um, so I'll just cut these up to the size they need to be uh, let me check my time okay let us get these done so I'm going to let's see I guess there's no right way, so let's just do our five and a quarter this way. And they are the tags, uh, the bottom tag, which is a little bit uh, deeper than the top tag, is five and a quarter by two and three eighths. Oh, two and five eighths, sorry. Right about like this. And I, I kind of thought this random uh, print would just be nice for the, for the front of it. And up here. And the last one is going to be two inches because it goes in the top pocket. So I like the way Dee Dee has been making, uh, made some tags for her ephemera for her for, uh, for her been making little toppers on her tags <laughs> to go into her pockets so that's what kind of inspired me to do the same thing little little pull tabs that you can so there's those those are all cut out and um they do need to be inked around but i am just going to ink one set because I can do well okay maybe that is cheating maybe I need to do all the inking so I hope that you were all participating in the challenge and getting together those things that you're going to be needing uh, to put either your Christmas journals together or really for me I'm kind of like getting ready for uh, 2021's journals really trying to plan ahead i've been considering on doing an edith holden um, journal with all the months of the year in it i really like the idea of that especially now that i got these tags going i think that will be just peachy so those are all done and so what I've gotten here is, this is part of the kit as well. There's little medallions of these different botanical prints. And I got these as well. And what my plan is, is to have the, oops, excuse me, this is the wrong one. Got to get the skinny one. Just to have the tag sit in here, like so. And then have this kind of peek out in that little thumbnail area. So that is my plan for this. Now, I don't know if this is really, I think to reinforce it would be a good idea. So that I am now going to glue on two things there. And I'm, I used my um, Stampin' Up! Punch, but I know a lot of companies make that. Sorry about that glare. A lot of companies make that. Uh, sort of a little scalloped, but it doesn't have to be a scalloped, really. It can, um, it can just be a nice circle. And I believe this is about two inches. Yeah, I think it's about two inches. Let me, 
make sure I get that close to the middle. There we go. Alrighty. Just put a little back on that. Whoops. Alright. Oh, that's right. I've got to glue this back part down here. <laughs> yeah, I've not made these yet, so I was sort of... There we go. So now that kind of sticks up there just a little bit. Like that. Kind of cute. And then for the back one, which of course is going to be a little bit longer, I am merely going to put in a circle about like this here. And I believe that is uh, one and a quarter inch punch. And put that in there just as a little tab to pull on. I think eventually I'm going to sew around these um, pockets eventually. And just stick this one inside here. Like so. Of course now oh, I covered up my uh, covered up my word. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, we don't make mistakes, don't we? Yeah. I only have three, so if I practice on one, then I wouldn't be able to truthfully do this in 15, right? That's okay. We will get that done just like this. Okay. Yep. Just like that. Okay. And we'll just put that down inside here. There we go. So that's the first one made. Alrighty. Actually, this might need to be cut down just a little bit. There we go. There. There we go. So that's the first one made and Probably should make sure that I measure these all out before I do anything with them. Okay. Yeah, I'll put on this circle here. So now I think I can move a little faster than I was moving before. All right. This one here. I guess that we are going to decorate the outside of all these pockets later. So that will be good. And now let's make this one here. Let's see. There we go. In this little thing here. I was thinking about using lace as tabs, which I think would probably work really well too. Yeah, I really do like Edith Holden. I like all the nature, the nature type of things. And, uh, so that one's a little off centered. I'm just going to take the edge off so that I can center it up a little bit better. There. Okay. 
so that's that one there. And let's do October. I yeah, which reminds me, I am trying to decide on which kit I want to use to make a fall journal with, and I haven't quite decided yet. I am leaning towards um, Artie Mays' um, recent one, Splen um, she's got like three of them. I think it's the Splendor, <clears throat> the Splendor kit was the one that I was kind of leaning against uh, for. Goes inside here <clears throat> in October's and put this guy down here in case a little wide. You don't go like this. And we're going to put this little guy on top of there, and it looks about right. Just so <clears throat> a little bit will peek out there. I'm going to hold this down and glue this down like so. There. And put on the backing. There we are. Alrighty. So that is it. Very quick and very easy. And I think it looks really cute. Really do like the way these look. They turned out nice. There. There we are. So those are the Youth Holden ones, and I like them because I think they can really go with all kinds of uh, styles. Sometimes you may want to do vintage with Edith Holden, sometimes you want to get really floral and shabby chic with her. Um, she can really, really go a lot of places. So thank you so much for viewing. I really do appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you later. Bye!